Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my unboxing of the Arcos 70 internet tablet. This is a new internet tablet from Arcos with a 7 inch multi touch screen, HD video playback, a web camera, Wi Fi, and it's running Android 2.1 at the moment with a 2.2 Froyo update due any day now. Now let's get this unboxed and whilst I'm unboxing it, I'll just let you know that I managed to get this from advanced mp3 players now you can check out their website at amp3.co.uk and this internet tablet is going to cost you £229 absolutely bargain price for the specification so I'm really keen to bring you a series of videos on this device and thought I'd kick things off with this unboxing and product tour for you today so this is what the box looks like we've obviously got the tablet on the front there and a little bit of writing on the side around the back we have got uh, just some details about what this is capable of 720p video, built in webcam and microphone two built in speakers 8 gigabyte of memory built into this you can get one with a 250 gigabyte hard drive as well micro SD HD card slot and HDMI output as well so sounds the business now let's have a look, wow Look at this, this looks really nice. Wow, I'm really looking forward to testing this device. So let's just pop this to one side and have a look at what else you get inside the box. So, here's the main compartment of the box. We have got in this little pack here some Arcos earphones, so little earbuds there. We've got um, a little lock thing there, looks like a little play button, although it's not, that's just like a lanyard type connection. And here we've got a 3.5mm audio jack. So no voice control on this, and that's probably because this is one of the internet tablets that doesn't have um, a, a SIM card slot so you can't make and take phone calls on this although you can do uh, VoIP, you can do sort of video conferencing this is one of the little adapters for the power supply two pin adapter we've also got a two pin European adapter so that other one, that one there is an American adapter that one there is for the rest of Europe the one I'm interested in is obviously the UK one put it on the screen naughty boy David so this is 3 pin UK adapter, that's going to go on to the power supply and this is a multi voltage power supply so it work in all different countries and you just put whichever adapter plate you need on it for your country so here we go, this is the adapter cable uh, this goes into the Arcos device itself and these just snap into place normally so I think they go, is it this way round or this way round, here we go there we go, so it snaps into place like that and to eject it you just push down on the little tab there and that releases it, so to put the adapter plate in hook it into place and then click it in like so, so that's a UK power adapter now as I say multi voltage that will work in other countries another little packet here, this looks like the USB cable which you can use for either charging the device or for putting content onto the device as well there's the USB cable, this then goes into the Arcos device, looks like a, a micro USB connector that one which is good, that's sort of a standard connector and this one here is full size USB to go into your computer now I mentioned that this has got an HDMI output, well there's no HDMI cable in the box which is a bit of a shame we've got a little bit of uh, documentation, eMusic, 35 free MP3s and an audio book support website extra information here, legal and safety notices and then last but not least in the bottom of the box we've got a user guide how to get everything set up and running so let's pop this box out of the way and have a look at the Arcos device itself here we go, now this has got a 7 inch screen on the front, I'm going to be showing you this switched on in a minute 
and the screen resolution is 800 by 480 16 million colors and it's a capacitive touch screen as well inside we've got an arm cortex a8 processor running at, eight, at one gigahertz and a 3d open gl es 2.0 graphic accelerator so that should give it a good performance for things like games now also on the front we've got two speakers so stereo speakers on the bottom edge here we've got sort of nothing really visible a couple of little holes there on this side here we have got the um, micro USB connector here we've also got that micro SD card slot just underneath there this is probably going to be the headphones yep that's the headphone jack just there this is the mini HDMI or micro HDMI no mini HDMI correction uh, which is going to output to a large screen TV you have to buy a cable for that though and then we've got the power jack on that side there around on this side we've just got some controls we've got the power on off button here and we've also got a um, volume rocker switch there and uh, just reading on the side here it says that this power on off button if you hold it in for 10 seconds it will reset the device looks like there's a little LED light there as well maybe that's for notifications along the top edge nothing and that's the bottom edge again nothing along the bottom edge round on the back let's put this up the right way you can see that by the ports that are on this side we've got little symbols to show what they do we've also got some little rubberized feet here so when it's on a table it's not going to sort of rock around too much that gives it some stability and also on the back we've got this little flip out stand I think you just pull it up like so and this this little kickstand flips out and that's really neat because it means you can put this on a table or a desk and it gives it a nice sort of viewing angle for sitting it down for viewing a movie um, or for maybe maybe even browsing the internet if you want to just sit it there so great for YouTube videos and movie watching uh, nice that they've incorporated this little kickstand and it folds neatly down into the body of the tablet when it's not in use so let's get this thing powered up um, I did try earlier it didn't have any charge in it so I've got to give it a quick charge and then I'll be back with you to show you the first power on, on the Arcos 70 internet tablet okay we've put some charge now in the Arcos 70 so let's give this device a turn on for the first time looks like a nice uh, vivid screen just on that logo nice sort of colouring to the logo and a nice gradient as well across here so let's just check out the uh, speed of the startup time it's obviously going to be a little bit longer on first boot hopefully subsequent boots will be a bit quicker like we're almost there it says welcome to Arcos this will help you set up the main settings so let's tap next and yep we've read the safety warnings tap next change time zone well, that's the right time zone device is configured to set the clock automatically so we'll keep it on automatic third party applications so it's just saying there's some third party applications that are being installed so we tap install raging thunder light hub cap or deco that's a book reader so this is just running through the initial install fring apps lib which is similar to google uh, android market deezer ebuddy World Newspapers, Cine Showtime, Quickpedia. So it's installed 12 applications, so additional content to the device, so they're available on first turn on. Let's tap next again. Activate the demo mode. No, not interested in that. It's now finished. Tap OK. Put down your Arcos on a static surface parallel to the ground and press the button. 
So this is going to do calibration of the accelerometer. And wow, well, there we go. This is uh, turned on and we can now use the device. So let's just uh, see if this sweeps from screen to screen. So we've got one screen, two screens, three, and then hopefully another two to this side. So five screens in total that we can um, populate with widgets, etc. On this fifth screen, we've got Google Search and some quick access to Wi Fi, Bluetooth, uh, probably pairing to a mobile phone, synchronizing, and brightness. So if I tap that, it's going to cycle through the various brightness modes on the screen. Let's go back here. This is uh, some video playback. Let's tap on this one and have a quick look. Oh, this is photo playback. So we pinch to zoom. We can pinch to zoom on the device. And let me just, uh, it's not really giving you a good rendition of the screen. Let me change my white balance for you and go on to auto white balance. That should give you a better sort of idea of what these photos look like. So we've got some nice colour on the screen there and we can go all the way back out perhaps go back there we go so this is sort of for, for viewing photos a little bit crude on the interface but overall it doesn't look too bad and then this is the main home screen so it's populated with a lot of stuff at the moment we've got the Raging Thunder game that it installed the old Deco book reader and we can get rid of these as well we, we don't have to keep all of these on the home screen so perhaps let's tap on this one and hold and then we can drag it over to the trash can and get rid of it so we can customise which ones are shown on this home screen so I can perhaps drag that one off and and we can really just customise it to our own personal taste and if I tap on here this will bring out the main menu and this is all of the content on the device and another tap again puts that drawer away and then we've got on-screen touch buttons which would normally be actual sort of physical touch area on other devices but this is actually on the screen and this is a back button a menu button a home button and a search button so if we push the uh, menu button there we can go into settings we can actually connect it to a wireless network if we want synchronize our Google accounts and let's just go on to about device and in here we have got the status firmware versions so that's running Android 2.1 update 2. Let's go back one and let's have a look at device storage. So we've got 8 gigabytes of uh, flash memory installed in here as well as that micro SD card support. And of the 8 gigabytes we've got uh, available space left of 6.74 gigabytes. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, system storage is obviously 256 megabytes on the actual device and the available space is 230 megabytes. So that's not bad and it feels quite snappy. If I push the home button, it certainly feels okay because we've got a 1 gigahertz processor in here. There is a little bit of delay between uh, switching between screens. Let me just pop this round into portrait format so the accelerometer works quite nicely quite quick to switch around the screen seems quite vivid viewing angle is not it's not bad side side on top to bottom you lose the the viewing angle quite quickly but that said it's pretty darn good so first impressions of this is that it looks really really nice let me just uh, tap on video and see if there's any videos uh, already installed there is, so let's have a very quick look at video playback. We've got a demo video where we've got Big Buck Bunny. Let's have a look at Big Buck Bunny. This is a nice device. So here we go, this is a bit of video playback on here. And whilst it's playing back video, we can tap on the screen. Can we use the scrub bar? Scrub. Volume. So we can either use the hardware controls or on-screen volume. Skip backwards and forwards. We can pause the playback. Continue it. That is a nice, nice, nice screen. Very impressed with that. 
as I mentioned earlier, the actual screen resolution resolution is 800 by 480 pixels. But that's got some nice colours to it. Again, the viewing angle, side on, not that bad at all. Just that view. If I go into that sort of angle, that it loses a bit of its clarity. But yeah, really nice screen. Uh, I wasn't going to do an extended video of this, but I'm really enjoying this device. Let's go back out to the home page. So let's pause that and then go back out to home. Come on, you can do it. There we go, back out to the home screen. Let me just very quickly show you a quick bit of browsing. So we're going to settings, uh, this one here, settings, and go into wireless and networks. And we're going to Wi Fi and we are connect to my time capsule network I'll just blank out the password for security reasons on this so that's my password put in hopefully that will connect so it's Wi-Fi disconnected at the top but it says remembered here let's just see if it will connect says scanning up here we've already put in the password for this so hopefully saying disconnected again let me try another one of my networks so again we've put in the password for this and it's not automatically connecting obtaining address it says now so a little bit slow on the Wi-Fi pickup hopefully this time it'll connect so no sooner had I actually just paused that video is it actually connected to the Belkin N network and set the time correctly. So that's really good. Let's go back out to the home screen. The reason I wanted to connect to um, the network was just to give you a very quick look at internet browsing. And then I'm going to uh, sort of finish this first video. Of course I'll be bringing you lots more video coverage on the Arcos 70. Let me just have a look at www dot nice keyboard actually nice and responsive apart from missing the dot so I spoke too soon dot come on so it needs a little bit of a an extra push sometimes but overall not bad it's probably me just getting used to it a little bit and we tap go so let's see what it makes of the Geekanoids website here we go, so it's rendered that really quickly. Double tap to zoom in and out. We can also pinch to zoom. Nice little advert I just had it here to the Geekanoids website about the Geekanoids iPhone app. So you want to check that out. So I hope you enjoyed my first look at the Arcos 70 internet tablet. I will be publishing a lot more videos on the Geekanoids channel about this device, including a look at emailing, also the gallery app, how the video playback really works, and also gaming on this device as well. Thank you very much for watching. Please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geekanoids channel. This video is sponsored by MyMemory.com. For great prices, fast delivery and reliable customer support, visit MyMemory.com.